What is Shelf Life Extension? Shelf Life Extension is an effort to make food safe for long periods, still keeping its original quality. Baked products beyond their shelf life can become stale, firm, and dry, less resilient, not as flavorful, unsafe due to microbial growth. Advances in bakery processing technologies and ingredient innovation have led to significant shelf life extension. For example, breads and buns that traditionally lasted 6 or 10 days, now remain soft, springy, and mold-free for up to 3 weeks. How does shelf life extension work? Two main factors influence the shelf life of bakery products. The first is microbial spoilage. This refers to product contamination with airborne mold spores which starts immediately after leaving the oven. As time passes, microbial growth continues to increase. Eventually, green spots form on the crust. The second is staling and moisture loss from the product. Bread staling can affect both bread crust and crumb. Crust staling is generally caused by moisture transfer or migration from the crumb to crust. The result is a soft, leathery texture. On the other hand, crumb staling happens when hydrated starch reverts to the crystalline form. Application To extend the shelf life of products, different ingredients and processes can be used. Strategies depend on the end product and if it is a clean label or not. Here are some solutions to slow both mold and staling. Ways to prevent mold spoilage. Mold inhibitors can be clean label mold inhibitors or artificial preservatives. pH and acidity, lowering the pH of the final product using acidulates or long dough fermentations, such as sourdough and preferments. Cleaning and sanitation, implementing good cleaning and sanitizing practices in critical product contact surfaces. For example, pay attention to the mixer, divider, conveyors, and cooler. Mold spores cannot survive the baking process, so sanitation is key for controlling mold growth or product recontamination after baking. Implementation of HACCP principles. A HACCP plan is a systematic approach to food safety management that identifies and evaluates food safety hazards. Water content. Controlling water activity and moisture content in baked products can be done with optimum baking and cooling conditions. Packaging, using adequate packaging method and materials. For example, modified atmosphere packaging, MAP, reduces mold growth and increases shelf life. How to slow down the staling rate and moisture loss. Emulsifiers as crumb softeners, although they do not produce softer fresh bread, they do slow the rate of firming over time. Some examples are lecithin, mono, and deglycerides, amphiphilic proteins, alpha-cyclodextrin, datum, SSL, and CSL. Hydrocolloids can slow crumb moisture loss. When choosing hydrocolloids, keep in mind their capacity to make liquids dense. Also, their water holding capacity, hydration rate, and the effect of temperature on hydration. Enzymes, alpha-amylase, xylanase, and lipase have significant anti-staling effects. Hydrolysis of starch by alpha-amylases releases dextrins and other oligosaccharides. Long fermentations, using dough systems that require long bulk fermentation before mixing. For example, sourdough or yeast preferments like sponges and poolish. Freezing, freezing temperatures pretty much stop all chemical reactions and molecular motion. So, this prevents starch from recrystallizing after baking. Want to learn more about shelf life extension? Visit Bakerpedia. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need-to-know basis.